Hey there, and welcome to Flatbread Friday. I want to show you something that I found in the back of my freezer this week. And yes, two little baby lamb chops. And so, it's Flatbread Friday, and we are going to make a Greek-style lamb flatbread. And it's going to be delicious. Follow along. We're going to start by searing the chops in a little bit of roasted garlic oil. And we're just going to sear them because I don't want to you have to bake the pizza for 20 minutes and I don't want little black lamb, hard as rock lamb pieces on my pizza. Our oil is hot and chops are going in. Come on, straighten out. Like I say, we're just gonna sear the outside of this, these chops just to seal in the juices and start them off right. We're gonna season them with some salt and pepper. And we're going to cut them into little pieces and make our pizza. Okay, they're ready to be turned over. Not quite as brown as I would have liked, but maybe they'll get brown on the other side. Oh, I love making lamb chops, but I decided to do this with them instead of just eating them. And they're almost ready. Okay, we're going to take these off. See how we're going to... Oh, nice, right? That is good. Okay, we're gonna set those aside and cut them into pieces. And while we're doing that, we're going to fry up a little shallot. And the shallot we're also gonna season with the salt. I reduced the heat here a little bit. But because it's an electric stove, it stays, it takes a long time to cool down. And some oregano because it's a Greek style dish. There we go. Probably a quarter teaspoon. This is only just a small flatbread. Okay, we're gonna let these go a few minutes. We are now ready for a little garlic. heat off now and just let these cook down for a few minutes and finish cutting up our oh let's show you I don't know if you can see how rare that is still but I think that's just about perfect so, when we come back we're gonna build our flatbread okay here we go we have our tandoori non crust and the oven is preheating to 325 degrees we're gonna put a smear of sauce not a lot But we want to go all the way out to the edges of this guy because this guy wants to curl up on me. So that much more. Oh, there goes Zeus next door. Cat must be out. I call him the cat alarm. Okay, sauce is on. And next we're going to lay down some mozzarella cheese. This is a, actually a four cheese blend. But you can use mozzarella or, you know, whatever your favorite pizza cheese is. Okay, now I'm gonna take our lamb pieces, our nice rare lamb pieces, and I'm gonna put them in with the shallots and the garlic. And toss them together. We're just gonna give them, give them a little toss and then we're gonna put them on our pizza. Okay, so my mouth is watering. Look at that beautiful lamminess. And wait till you see what we're gonna put on next. Okay, for a little color, a little crunch, a little flavor, we're going to add some pepperoncinis that are sliced up. And somebody's walking by or something. The dogs are crazy today. All right, I don't think that big one will like it. Okay, pepperoncinis are on. Next, we're gonna just put, this is a diced plum tomato. And we're gonna throw that on there too. Color, crunch, flavor. And now we're gonna finish it off with some feta. And then it's going in the oven, and then we're gonna eat it. It's 
it's gonna be real good. Okay, ready to go in? Let's see what it looks like when I come And here she is, our Greek lamb pizza. Flatbread, sorry, it's a flatbread. It is flatbread Friday, but sometimes we make pizzas, sometimes we make calzones. Here is up close and personal. And we are gonna slice this up and serve it. Okay. Nice and crunchy. Come on. I think we'll do big pieces today. Because all this goodness is going to be worth big pieces. Okay, so. Plate. There it is, our Greek style lamb pizza, garnished with a little bit of my fun little basil. I'll be putting that in the ground pretty soon. Can you believe that in February? But you can see it's green and red and lamby and feta cheesy and all kinds of goodney goodness. And thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Flatbread Friday. It is, I'm not sure if this is the last Friday in February or not, but we're gonna keep going. And uh, we'll be making more pizzas, more Friday deliciousness, and we're gonna eat this one and we're gonna love it. And thanks again for joining me and have a great weekend.